short-sighted, paternalistic, inexplicable. Those are just some of the words Mayor John Tory used to describe his frustration. It is time that we stop being treated and I stop being treated as a little boy going up to Queen's Park in short pants to say, please, could you help me out? That's a side of the mayor we rarely see, a display of uncharacteristic frustration. Houses are falling down and having to be closed up. Transit needs are not being met. Traffic is in chaos. Until now, he's enjoyed a good relationship with the premier, holding regular meetings at Queen's Park. But it seems they're embroiled in a political spat. Premier, are Premier, you essentially you in... throwing John Tory under the bus? Wynne didn't really answer that question, but clearly the mayor feels she's cut him off at the knees. He thought he had the premier's backing to go ahead with road tolls, which needs provincial approval. Before council voted in favor of them, the premier indicated she supported them. We're going to respect the local decision-making authority. Good meeting, guys. And a source tells City News Wynne and Tory had a conversation in September, and she told him to, quote, go for it. So why the about face from Wynne? Pressure from 905 voters who she needs to win the next election, and from her own caucus within, who is threatening a revolt if she approved the tolls. Is this just a desperate political move? Kind of like what we saw with the gas plants. I mean, you know, you're really reeling from hydro, you're plummeting in the polls. I'm trying to work with municipalities and provide the support that they need so that they can build public transit. The mayor and the premier actually have a meeting at Queen's Park next week. That should be interesting. And the mayor says he's going to continue to pressure the premier to help him find funding for transit and the burgeoning housing bills.